hey, look at me still talking at you. So again, I'm sorry there's so much talking at you in the beginning, but I promise I will talk less and less and you'll get to do more and more stuff. So today I actually want to start doing some things and start explaining how we're going to work this course. So um, on D2L, we're going to go uh, under content. So this is both for um, grade 11 and for grade 12. So we're looking at our creative process. So we're just looking at how we're making a piece of art um, and then how we're doing it on um, the computer. So um, under content and going under the creative process and what we're focusing on right now are idea boards. So we're just looking at how we're going to use idea boards as part of the creative process, what idea boards are, um, and then we're actually going to end up um, doing something with it. So uh, let's get started. So for um, we've looked at the creative process and we looked at how um, the curriculum the Ontario curriculum makes it look like really easy, right? So this perfect, like all these stages that you go through. So um, sometimes it'll work out, sometimes it doesn't. But I want to focus on the first three parts of the of the creative process. So we're talking about the challenging, inspiring, the imagining and generating and the planning and the focusing. So um, every time that I give you um, an art project, how are we going to get started? So I'm hoping that the challenging inspiring part i hope that's my job i hope that i get i give you a really nice challenge with the project and i hope that i inspire you to get some ideas and that you're pumped about what we're doing but also you're going to find your own sort of inspiration because you've got to do things that you're interested in and in your sort of style so for the idea boards that we're going to use we're focusing on finding your own inspiration above and beyond what I'm giving you. Um, just ways to start to brainstorm and imagine um, kind of what you want to do and sort of generate some ideas about what you could possibly do for any of our projects. And then you start to gather sort of resources and, and any of these ideas and, and start planning and, and focusing a little bit more. So the idea boards are going to help us do all of these things. So. The purpose of an idea board is just a place for you to collect and organize ideas. Okay, so it's your resource material, your inspiration, and this is all part of the creative process. Okay, so now we are going to be gathering information um, on the computer, but you could also use your black book, which is I call sketchbooks black books, and I'll explain why in the next lesson. Um, you can find images, you can use your photographs, it's images from the internet. So there's many ways, but we are going to start with doing them digitally. Now, if you go on to art, and like for a career, if you want to be like an interior designer or a graphic designer or a wedding planner or, or anything at all, even for yourself um, later on, ideas or idea boards are a great, great way to sort of present your ideas either to a client or for yourself, right? It's just collecting things like the colors that you want to use and different inspirations and patterns and, and, and anything that you might use for your final idea to come together. So we are going to be using Pinterest as idea boards. And the reason why we're doing this is that um, we're collecting digital images as inspiration off the internet. And instead of like going around and saving them to, to Google Drive and, and trying to find them and put them all together on a Word document and handing them in, I'm just, I find that Pinterest is way easier. It's really great to, and really fast to save images off of the internet. Um, and you can also, and it organizes them super, super easy and you can access them anytime. Um, you can do it on your Chromebook and you can do it on your smartphone. So it's one of those things. I like having it on my smartphone that I just have a few minutes and I want to kind of like think about something and get some ideas. I can just scroll through and, and look at it. So I really like Pinterest and it's easy to access and easy to find and easy to share. So, um, each time we do a project, we're going to start with an idea board, okay, so for, th for the first three stages for the creative process. On top of that, we may be using our sketchbooks a little bit for that. All right, so let's uh, do our next lesson and let's look how we're going to set Pinterest up on our smartphones and on our Chromebooks. Mm -hmm.